human beings and human affairs. Because he starts off talking about the wins, but he ends up in his mind he's talking about how the winds, once they break, they, they, they collect, they uh, bring down rain, and rain falls on whoever a lot chooses. The rain is a cleansing. It's not unlike the Quran. The Quran is uh, even more so, of course, but the Quran is a cleansing. And this Quran, a lot of what they uh, call a victor of Ali. It's a victor for all the worlds that he gave to his Rahmat um, al Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And of um, course he is the Rab of all the worlds there, Rabbi al -Ali. And he, he brings his Quran and issued from the Quran, uh, within the Quran, to us are uh, cleansing words. Things that cleanse the soul, things that cleanse the spirit. Just as the rain when it falls, it cleans the air, it cleans the streets and gutters, it washes uh, uh, new things, it makes things fresh. Um, and this is how the Quran does. But he, he says that this rain when it falls, it falls on certain people, not everybody. The Quran, you know, is not understood by everyone. It's not even accepted by everyone. As a matter of fact, it's only accepted by a select few. And that's us, us Muslims. SubhanAllah. Uh, and when we hear the Quran as slaves of Allah, willing, peaceful slaves of Allah, man, it makes us happy, we rejoice. You know, it's like bad tidings, good news. You know, but to the people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not opened up their hearts to receive this light, this newer of the Quran, it's, it, it, it's like scalding, it's like, it's like, it's like a burn, a burning uh, steam. It, it's, it, it's, it boils them over, they get upset, they get angry when they hear it. And uh, that's what separates those kufar, those disbelievers from the believers. In fact, when we hear the Quran, it does something to us. It makes our, uh, our skin uh, tremble. You know, it, uh, it, it, it just uh, illuminates our hearts. You know, and that's only by Allah's mercy. Because, subhanAllah, He's the one who opens up our hearts to receive this light. And uh, He does that as He wills. You know, to whomever He pleases. We who are recipients of that newer, that light, you know, we should reflect on it for a while. Just reflect on that light for a while. How he picks and chooses among all these people on the planet, you know, but he chooses whom he wants, whomever he wants to um, uh, be a, uh, to benefit from his knowledge. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala goes on, he says, even though they uh, uh, you know, the, the rain, they saw the rain, they perceived the rain, just before this they were dumb with despair. Before we received this, this knowledge of this land, we were not just dumb with despair, we were, uh, Allah calls it, uh, you know, the condition, sun bukun bun, deaf, dumb, and blind. You know, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opened up our eyes, opened up our ears, you know, and, you know, placed on our tongue, that you know, hate Allah. Out of our mercy. And believe me, that's no small thing. That is no small thing. It's big, bigger than we can even comprehend all of it. It takes a lifetime of study and, uh, and, and, and worship and, you know, uh, appreciation to even come close to understanding just what a gift it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be Muslim. And right now, today, here we are, stuck in the belly of this beast here in America, you know, um, blessed because we are among those who have lost the kingdom of God has chosen and made Muslim. We can be, you know, uh, going along with the program of this Kufra out here. We're not for the law's mercy. That he didn't, you know, uh, if he hadn't, you know, uh, you know, 
just shown his mercy, showers mercy upon us.